beautiful people. It is Monday and I would usually be putting up a video on Monday, but as I'm sure a lot of you have noticed, I haven't put up a video in about a month. So I wanted to give you all an explanation. This of course started because Valentine was in the hospital uh, for a while and that was extremely stressful and we're still in the middle of that journey really we're waiting for a surgery that he needs and um i definitely needed that that mental health break and that space to really take care of myself and my babe at that time so thank you for giving me that time and that space and in the midst of all that i found this house in this neighborhood that i've wanted to live in for a really long time I never flip the camera around and show you where I am, but I've been doing all of God is Grave videos from my little one bedroom apartment. Um, it's been my bachelorette pad for like six years and adding a baby and all of those elements to it. We've just been really squeezed in here. The really exciting thing about this house is that there is a little studio on the side of it and it needs drywall, it needs a lot of work and love, but it was where I'm envisioning building myself a set so that I can finally just a pop in a room, turn on a camera, not have to rearrange my whole house and push a bunch of toys out of the way and be distracted by tons of noises and all that stuff. So that will definitely be an amazing upgrade and I imagine and believe that it's going to be very inspiring for me and the work that I bring to you to have that space. So those are the logistics, but here's the more vulnerable part of the story, which is that when I started God is Grey and I knew that I was going to eventually let you all know that I had an abortion, that I had that procedure, it felt like all of the work and everything that I was saying and learning was culminating to that moment. And now that that moment has happened, it really felt like a button to everything that I had wanted to say and everything that I had processed. This is not to say that it's the end at all. I know there's still so much more I want to say and so much more information that I can bring to you. But that is to say, if I go based off pure intuition and my spiritual gut, the same gut, the same Holy Spirit that led me to create the God is Grey YouTube channel in the first place, that gut is now telling me that there is something that I've completed and there is a new direction that I'm meant to go in. I really cannot stress enough that this has nothing to do with jumping ship or leaving anyone high or dry, but I am letting you know basically an explanation for taking more space and more time because I really want to figure this out. I really want to figure out what the next season of God is Grey is. And I don't mean that the way Christians say it, like the season of life, but like a season, like a TV show, like what is next? gone through moments of fear where the notion of not posting every week has made me afraid to lose my God is Great community and you've really all shown me that that's not true, that you're all still with me and I appreciate that so deeply and I definitely feel responsibility and not only responsibility but a true desire to keep delivering on the messages that I have been and keep offering any sort of wisdom or insight that I possibly can. And this is a hard part of it because the insight and the wisdom I'm offering at this moment is that everyone needs to honor themselves and take a pause and recalibrate when you really know in your gut that it's time to pivot or make a change. I don't know if it's drastic or minimal. Maybe I simply build this studio and we go back to Monday videos, or maybe it's something completely different and hopefully something that we're all going to love and appreciate and have fun with together. But I definitely felt a responsibility to all of you and just wanted to express my love and gratitude for your patience with me um, because I really began God is Grey 
completely out of my spirit and my spiritual life. And I want to continue to honor that and to have the wherewithal and the, and the wisdom to acknowledge when that same spirit is rising up in me again, saying, take a pause, take a step back and look at this and see where we're going next. Something I thought would be fun to share is God is Great HQ just where I've been making these videos since the inception of God is Gray, because I've always chose very selective areas of my apartment. And someone actually recently accused me of living in an LA McMansion in affluence. So thank you for the compliment. I guess this makes me talented at choosing areas of my apartment that make me affluent. But I'll show you a little behind the scenes of where God is Gray has been all these years. So this is where I sleep. This is where Valentine sleeps. Everything is messy because I'm packing. This is my doggy van. Hi, baby. This is my changing station for Valentine. Bathroom in there, not exciting. Ugh, a beautiful nude of Jane Fonda. A mirrored wall for the appearance of things being bigger and more light. Um, this is the chair I usually sit in when I'm filming for God is Grey. This is Valentine's play area. This is my bunny Monroe who I just got taxidermied. Oh my goodness, can't wait to have her in the new place. <laughs> this is my shipping area and receiving area for all my on her knees stuff. This is the foyer, of course. <laughs> Again, divert your eyes from messes. This is the kitchen, pretty wooden wall. This has just been my little tree house, paradise. I've done so much work here. I wrote a lot of on her knees just at that table right here, trying to concentrate. And that's it. This is a place that I'm going to miss so much, but there is just a lot of change brewing in the air and it's really, really, exciting and it feels good and I cannot wait to continue to bring you all on this journey with me whoever wants to come you're more than welcome and I will keep you posted as soon as I know but again please give me this time to build my studio and move I'm moving on Wednesday and I'll have more information for you ASAP I love you all so much god bless